So now our animation should be done. I'm going to remove the grid with Control and H. We'll just hit play and see how it looks. That is our snowfall. The first thing we are going to do is create a new sprite. We are going to use a size of 32 by 32. Hit OK. If you are using a sprite, you can follow along with everything I do. If not, I'm sure the program you are using, you are familiar with and has the same kind of tools. The first thing I want to do is delete this frame. The second thing I want to add in a new layer with Shift N. I'm going to name the bottom layer BG for background and the top layer Anim for animation. On the bottom layer, I want to click these two dots on the left side of BG. This will make it a continuous background throughout the animation. Now I want to fill in the background with a color that is about no saturation and about 67 value. I'm going to zoom in on our tile. As you can see, we have a grid shown. To turn that on or off, you can use Ctrl and H. Now I am going to go back to our first frame and I'm going to insert blank frames all the way along to 16 frames, which is half the size of our current tile. So, one, two, three, four, all the way to 16 frames. Go back to frame one. Make sure we have an off white color. If you do not have this box here in A Sprite, uh, you can come down here and just click on one of these colors in the bottom left corner. It will pop up the box. Move over here so you get the movement arrow. Click and drag and put it wherever you want. So we have our offset color, we have our layers set up, we have all our frames ready to fill out, and now it is time to tile. So to tile this, we go up to view, go down to tiled mode, tiled in both axes, and then we want to see our grid again, but if we press Ctrl H, it might not be the correct size. So we just disable the grid for a moment. We go up to grid, up to view, Go down to grid, grid settings, change it to our tile size, which is 32 by 32. Hit OK and it will show us our grid. Now, we want to start in this top corner. You can start along the top anywhere, but it has to be at the top. It is just much easier to keep track of the animation. So we will start here with our first snowflake with a basic pattern, which will be one pixel, two pixels down, and one pixel across. That is our basic pattern. Moving through the frames, there's our first four frames. Now, for the next frame, I'm gonna use a slightly different pattern. It's gonna be two pixels down, two pixels across. This, I will call a jump. And every jump we do, we must count. And it is important not to do two jumps in a row. So we will go back to the basic pattern, and do another jump just here. That's the second jump. Back to the basic pattern. Another jump, three, four, and we've brought ourselves down to frame 16, and between all them frames, we did four jumps. Now we are going to cross the border and do another iteration, carrying on back from frame one and go through it all again. But the first thing we want to do is lower our opacity to about 130. This will give our snowflakes a bit of a twinkle, which really helps with the seamless tiles. So we're gonna use the basic pattern to continue through our frames and carry on down. There's a few. Now we are going to use another pattern, just like we did with the jump, but this time it is just two pixels down no pixels across and we will call this one a drop we have to do the same amount of drops as we did jumps which was four so that is our first drop back to basic second drop third drop drop four 
and now our pixel has ended up here on frame 16 and it should come back down to the corner on frame 1. This is our first seamless row of snowflakes. Now for the next row we want to go forward around 4 frames. We want to put our opacity back up and we want to start at the top again but this time not in the corner. I suggest somewhere around them finding the middle of these two snowflakes or pixels and just starting there at the top. That will be my first one and we will go through exactly what we did before by going basic, doing jumps on the first iteration, that was one jump, two jump, three jump, four jump, and we're back at frame four next. So we need to do our opacity down to about 130. Um, and then carry on with a basic pattern. We've done four jumps again, so we need to do four drops. You don't have to do four jumps every time. You can do three, four, five, six, but somewhere around that. So back to the basic pattern to continue. And I need four drops. When I go through all the frames this time, that's two, three, far and now it should line up nicely and there we have two rows and we will continue to do this we will go forward four frames again which will put us on frame eight and we'll find the middle or whereabouts the middle i'm going to go over to this side this time and start up here i'm just going to speed up this next part finish off the animation doing exactly what I did in the last two rows and we can take a look at the final version. So now our animation should be done. I'm going to remove the grid with Ctrl and H. Just zoom out a little bit. We'll be at about 300% which is still fairly zoomed in but it's easier to see animation we'll just hit play and see how it looks okay I'm gonna leave you with this animation now you can fiddle around with a lot of the things I did this is a very good base animation to stay at uh, you can play with opacity color density speed all those things I will see you in the next tutorial when I will go over how to tile this snowfall tile animation I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and I hope you have a great day.